Everything I don't see. Uh, it's not at most everything most times. Did you see something going on? Uh, so you had something in your hand, like that was fine, no, and then you set it back down. I did. Someone was. There's a basement too. Uh, Look at that scary monkey in that bag. Can you, yeah. do you see that one? Yeah. Okay, could you see that gizmo in that back row? Is that? Which gizmo? Uh, that shelf, is he, uh, is he ceramic? It's $18. I know, this stuff is way too expensive. Way, way too expensive. Is that plastic? Like a plastic resin, you know what I'm talking about? Could you, can you reach down? Yeah, but you're gonna have to get moved. Okay, okay, I'll get away. I know, okay, so anyway, we are in an estate so This is a collector, and everything is way too expensive. Man, look at this. Oh, it's forever. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm gonna hold them just in case. I'm gonna hold them just, could you hold them for me? 
Just don't get them wet. Don't get them wet. <laughs> okay, anyway, so this is the toy room. Uh, everything is different just for myself because it's too expensive to play, so. <clears throat> There's a Pee Wee Herman. I already have a Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. Kiki dolls. What's that guy? I don't know. Okay. He looks like he walks around at night. He definitely walks around at night. <laughs> McDonald's toys. I don't want any McDonald's toys. She said there was a basement. Who said there was a basement? I don't know, some lady sitting oh. somewhere. I'm going to double check it. I'm not missing any ET stuff. Um, I know I sold Big Boys for her. <coughs> Hot looks. Okay. I'm going to need your long arms again. Do you see, you see that white container in the back that says Hot Looks? That yeah. plastic triangular thing. I know. All right, thank you. What is it? I don't know what it. Oh, it is a mechanic. It's a, a mug. It's a mug. Oops! Oh. Don't move because that's. What is this hot mug? Okay, hold on. Don't just don't don't move. This is the estate cell we just left. Um, there's stuff outside, inside. This guy, the ad is saying that this guy is a retired St. Louis Cardinals baseball player. So he must not have been a very good baseball player because this is not the nicest area. Um, but anyway, it was crazy. He was an antique dealer. So all the prices were uh, eBay prices. And I'm just like, why do people do that? And so lots of people looking, not many people buying. I did buy a couple things just because stuff I don't really see that often. But I definitely didn't get much for resale because, like I said, they were charging eBay prices. It was pretty crazy. Um, they're going to have 50% off on Saturday. I doubt I would come back for that because he did have stuff, but nothing that was like, you know, what do you think? Nothing special. It's just... Typical, typical stuff. Nothing that I would be like. It's not what I would expect to see for a professional baseball player. It's Correct. what I'd expect to see for just a regular guy who worked a regular job and worked his whole life to accumulate things. But not what I would expect to see for a guy who supposedly should have made probably millions of dollars a year. Very true. Very true. It just, this is, this house is not bad. It's probably like a $175,000 house. But um, maybe in this area, do you think it's, because this is Baldwin. It just was... It's two to $300,000 house. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm bad at house pricing. He's much better than I am. But it was just the typical ranch style house with a huge basement. So anyway, uh, let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what I got. All right. We're leaving the estate cell now. Um, do you know how to get out of here? I'll figure it out. Okay. This is what he can figure it it's out. It's not that big of an area. Whatever. I think we have to turn around. I think this was a no outlet. Okay. Um, you're right. What's that lady? Oh, there's a cop right there. Just stand in the middle of the road, lady. That's very practical. So, um, anyway, so like I said earlier, everything was way overpriced. The guy had tons of stuff. It was like an antique store. Um, and I'm just was surprised by the prices. They, it's just you can tell someone took the time and looked everything up on eBay, which is fine. I don't, you know, what people, estate sale managers can do whatever they want. But the fact is, this isn't eBay. Um, this is an estate sale. So, everyone was looking. No one was buying because you're overpriced. Um, I did get a couple things just because I thought they were unique that I never see. Um, and a couple things I might resell, but it definitely wasn't um, a good day to buy anything to resell. So I got this ET little wind up figure for $4. Um, I actually saw it in a different room, the same one for $6, but I got this one for four, even though it was the same one. And then I got this Ghostbuster wristband um, from the 80s, which makes me excited, 1984, $4. That's a bit much, but. What are you gonna do? And then I got the Charmkin pocket mirror um, for three dollars. I never see anything Charmkins. 
charm oh, I'm saying it wrong charm kims so I definitely had to get that and then I got six carnival prizes from the 80s um, I don't know if you guys remember these, but if you're from the 80s, you do. These are little plastic figurines that you could win at carnivals and stuff. Um, and I totally remember having these as a child. I wish I would have never got rid of what I had. So they were $3 each. Uh, that is a bit pricey. If it wasn't for the childhood memories, I definitely would not pay $3 for these. But I've never seen them before. And like I said, it's childhood memories. I got six of them. Every color of the ramp. All right, hold on. I put this stuff down. Stuff is sliding. My husband's driving. I'm not driving. I got this Care Bear book. So books were a dollar for uh, softback and four dollars for hardback, and they try to charge me four dollars because it's hardback. And I'm like, no, this, no, I'm not paying. I, you can keep it. Oh, well, since you're buying so much, we'll let you have it for a dollar. Thank you. Whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, am I blocking your way? Let me put this down so he can drive. Um, and then I got these hidden pictures. I just, um, if you're from the 80s, you remember highlights. I actually think they had highlights during the 90s too. So these are hidden picture books. Uh, I totally, my stepsister had this subscription and we'd always like do these with her. So there's like, you have to find the hidden images. I love that. And I got two of them. And they've not been used, so that's really cool. And then I got a Mickey paint by number for a dollar. I got a Herself the Elf coloring book for a dollar. So this is 80s stuff. And then I got an E.T. movie book for a dollar. And then I got a strawberry. What's wrong? Oh my, that wasn't there earlier. And then I got a strawberry shortcake uh, cooking cookbook. This is most excited. I'm very excited about that. And that's it. All that. You see I didn't get that much. $36. That's ridiculous. <sighs> but that's okay. Um... Sometimes the state sales are really good and sometimes they're really, really bad. Um, I just have to remember this one was, the manager was Donna Land. We just have to remember Donna Land um, is, is not a good one. It, it, there's only like so many state sale companies in St. Louis. So we just have to pay attention to the companies and only go to the ones that we know that are not overpriced. And Donna Land is definitely overpriced. So unless there's something I just can't live without, we will not be going to any more of her or company or whoever it is, um, her estate sells. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. If you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button. Um, now that the weather is nicer, I am sure I will be going to a bunch more estate sales. Thanks for watching.